Okay, in uh, continuation of the access control threats, um, now we have talked about um, emanation security briefly, um, and in a sense it is a kind of a specialized case of a covert timing channel in that, you know, information is being um, uh, broadcast, uh, relayed uh, by uh, a, a channel that you do not identify as a communications channel. Um, now, uh, originally, uh, Tempest, and I, uh, it is an acronym, and I cannot uh, uh, recall what it stands for. Um, I mean, as a uh, military uh, and intelligence uh, project, uh, <laughs> you know, rather ironically, this was not even admitted that this was a project and a possibility uh, that emanation security was uh, a thing, um, an attack, you know, what you should do to protect against it. And they were you know, desperately trying to figure out ways to protect their own machines and, and as you know in, in terms of Tempest that was simply the uh, um, electronic electromagnetic radiation that was being radiated from specifically cathode ray tube monitors uh, but there are many other emanations that um, a computer a, a piece of information technology uh, can give off in a variety of ways and, and uh, it's you know a good idea to to look at these um, and to figure out uh, uh, whether or not there is a danger and, and you know in, in regard you know uh, compartmentalized security or compartmented security uh, as I say you know when, when we have a particularly sensitive application, maybe we should be paying a little bit more attention to some of these admittedly esoteric uh, types of attacks. Um, now, when, uh, I mean, Tempest and, and the electromagnetic radiation and, and the electromagnetic radiation that is uh, coming off machines that is, is more than uh, just, you know, the cathode ray tubes and, and the ability to... Um, read that uh, becomes uh, possibly important and uh, we have to uh, ensure that we are aware of, of that possibility but the um, that is far from the only form and, and sometimes the attacks are not just simply listening uh, picking up uh, radiated energy um, well sometimes they are and, and there's a variety um, here for example um, key clicks the uh, switches on the keyboards the keys themselves the placement of the keys make slightly different sounds and and these days you know we can uh, identify the very slight differences in in the sounds, in the frequencies that the keys are getting, giving off when they are being depressed, um, and so we can tell what somebody is typing because of listening to the key clicks. That's that's one uh, of the the options, and and of course you know that well it's it's radiated sound rather than radiated electromagnetic uh, energy, but it's still. Um, uh, you know, an, an identifiable uh, channel for communication. Uh, somebody can eavesdrop on that, can uh, determine what it is that we're typing and, and therefore pick up information that they probably should not have. We have uh, other types of uh, attacks in the same regard. For example, uh, some people have... Uh, found that by bouncing a laser off the open lid of a laptop and uh, picking up the 
uh, you know, measuring the vibrations that happen there, again, the, the different sounds um, set up different vibrations in the laptop itself, and therefore, by reflecting, a, bouncing a laser off the lid, we can determine what it is that somebody is typing on the laptop. And, uh, you know, so um, we don't have to be in the same room. We don't have to have a listening device in the same room. We can just, you know, shine a laser through the window and uh, pick up information that we want. Uh, so, uh, you know, another type of, of attack along the same lines, not just listening for radiations, a little bit more active. There, we got to, you know, bounce a laser off things. But, um, you know, again, uh, admittedly, this is unusual. Admittedly, this is something that an attacker has to be really serious about. Uh, this is not something that you're going to be concerned about every day. Um, but uh, it is something potentially to be concerned about and certainly to be aware of if we are dealing with very sensitive information. So, um, there is uh, another uh, factor to be considered um, in terms of the threats in this general regard, in, in terms of eavesdropping and, and uh, picking up information. Um, the uh, that's uh, th there were other additional attacks. I'm trying to remember um, uh, the ones you know. There's a, the, the key clicks, the bouncing the laser off the lid. Um, uh, of course, bouncing lasers off of windows. We we have been using that to pick up um, the vibrations that sound puts into the windows, and so we can use the window as a giant microphone uh, to. Uh, listen in on people's discussion uh, you know <laughs> lasers are really a uh, very interesting tool these days um but um there are other types of emanations that we have and i did again mention the um uh, side channel attacks that become a part of um the uh uh encryption Systems and, and so when we have hard, you know, hardware, specialized hardware encryption devices, uh, say it, it may be a, a card uh, because with a card you can store the um, the key and have the uh, uh, processing capability all in the card and, and so it's you know uh, something you have uh, which we will be getting into shortly. Um, in terms of authentication, uh, so having something uh, that becomes a tool, uh, a very complete tool for uh, securing communications. But if we listen in on that in terms of the temperature, in terms of the radiated power, we can find out an amazing amount about what uh, type of encryption is being used, um, possibly information about the key, and when we get into uh, crypto itself, uh, we're going to be dealing with the fact that every time you use a key, you are giving away at least one bit of information about the key. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that when we when we get to crypto, um, but uh, we do want to ensure that we are being appropriately careful with um, people possibly getting information uh, from what we are doing with encryption, uh, finding about the, uh, the process, finding out what um, uh, type of algorithm we are using, um, possibly finding information about the key, possibly finding information about the plain text. Again, you know, uh, known plain text attacks become uh, a possibility there. So, um, a number of different areas that we need to address in this general realm of emanations security. <laughs> 